strategy to to get your first clients? What are you thinking? I didn't marketing wise. Yeah. Um, I'll probably say like local communities, mm -hmm. um, local schools. Probably, I think that's if that's yeah. possible. Um, probably I would say probably that, and then obviously getting it out on social media, mm -hmm. like so Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Um, that okay. way, really. Yeah. So. Cool. An idea I have which you could do and and I don't know whether you you can but an idea I have you're an assistant coach right yeah. so something that you could do is maybe offer free one-on-one -on -one sessions to the players on that team okay okay go through the now, club for that you or sorry would have to go through the club yep yeah, for that um, I'm guessing. isn't that a little bit I don't know it's a good question. Um, something that you might have to ask uh, the coach, the head coach of the team. Uh, are you the head coach or is there a head coach? Oh, there's another ma manager above me. I'm there's the a manager, manager, yeah. Okay, it might be something worth asking him because I know clubs, teams, they all have different policies on, on stuff yeah. like that. Um, but that would be a good way just to get in front of of parents and for parents to then start talking about what you're doing. Okay. And like I said, you can, you can just treat it as like supplemental training for those players, grab some content and then start to promote what you're doing. Okay. okay. You so might... We do it basically the video session, then promote it. Yeah. Um... And you could say to it, right, I'm not going to charge you. All I want to do is I want to help your child, give them supplemental training Okay, but in return, what we're going to do is we'll we'll record the session. Okay, and then we can give it to you to the parent, right? But then also you can use that as content to start to promote what you're doing. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that does does that make sense. No, no, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. I think it does yeah. make sense. Um, but I'm just thinking, would it be difficult to get it out to the club? I don't know. It might be something that you it's worth asking your manager. Yeah. Uh, if if you're serious about doing it, then just say to him, listen, I'm looking to do to get into one-on-one -on -one training. Okay. Could I offer my services to our players? And if I was to, what do I need? Okay. He might not have a he might not know either. Yeah. Um so in that case, it might be worth speaking to someone at the club or someone a little bit higher up. Yeah. Because um, yeah. he might not know himself. Okay. Uh, but I think I think that'll be a great way because then parents can start telling other parents about yeah. what you're doing. Um, <laughs> and you can treat it as supplemental training for the club. It's not like you're trying to take their, their, their players or anything. Yeah. But, now, I know some clubs, <clears throat> and especially now, uh, the pro clubs, uh, and this is not to scare you off because every club is, is different, but yeah. a lot of clubs are now trying to keep everything in-house. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because they don't want their players going to other, other coaches and developing in a different way to what they want their players to develop. Um, yeah, yeah. I know with Premier League, uh, clubs that's becoming very popular now um keeping everything in house and they're even bringing private trainers in to work one on one with players uh, mm. so you've got like one on one individual trainers coming into these clubs and so if any player wants extra training yeah. they have to they have to use him instead of getting someone else from outside <music>